It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. On V103. Time for the Trending Topics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Are you ready? Let's start with the uh, second family. I call them that because the Obamas are the first family. This would be JB and Blue. Well, J, Kanye, and Frank are being sued for $3 million. Yep. Kanye West and JC's critically acclaimed Watch the Throne album is back in the news for their track Made in America. Apparently, the duo along with Frank Ocean are being sued by musician Joel McDonald for $3 million for copyright infringement. McDonald claims West, Jay-Z, and Ocean plagiarized work he released back in November 2009 via iTunes. Quote, the musician is suing for the trio stealing his music and wants them to pay for their actions and making money off of his work. We'll find out what happens and keep you posted as it develops. No sympathy for the king, huh? <laughs> Cause even talk about your baby crazy Yeah, they do talk about your baby crazy And that's exactly what Karuchi did on BT on Monday, right? So you've heard the story by now She read a joke off the teleprompter She claims she read it cold And that the script had been changed by the producers last minute She had no chance to review it, never saw it beforehand Said it was a live show She had no choice but to read what was on the teleprompter She's not the most experienced live television person uh, Afterwards, her and her manager apparently went nuclear Because she... And and they thought the joke about a two-year-old was mean-spirited and poor taste. Turns out Stephen Hill, who's the uh, president of music programming for BET, uh, also feels like it was in uh, bad taste. He issued a Twitter apology and statement that read something like this. Last night on 106 in Park, there was a stupid, unthoughtful joke made about a young child. We apologize publicly to the child's parents and have done so privately. And we have taken punitive actions uh, with those responsible. It was a very bad judgment. And we will not, and we will serve you better in the future. Oh, and please don't hate on Karuchi. It was not her fault. We also apologize for putting her in that position, but not before the Beehive already had put up a petition to have Karuchi deported. What is wrong with you people in the Beehive? Yes, on the White House website. <laughs> oh my God. So, it goes like this. We petitioned the Obama administration to deport Karuchi Tran if deportation is not available, send her into exile. Karuchi Tran violated the number one code of beehive law. Beehive law. Thou shalt never come for blue ivy. Really, people? The beehive. Calm down. Be cool. You know she's an American citizen, right? Get the port, an American citizen. But back to BET. Um, back to Blue Ivy, rather. This isn't the first time Blue Ivy's been criticized for her hair. Speaking of petitions, there's a change.org petition that was started by a Brooklyn resident that was titled Comb Her Hair. These people. Last but not least, uh, Beehive is taking credit for, but we're not going to necessarily give them that credit, that they shut down 106 in Park. It's been canceled for the remainder of the week. Um, so, wow. Okay. Yeah, can you play that clip for me one more time? This is how I feel about it. Yes. No sympathy for the king, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Cause even talk about your baby crazy. They certainly do, Jay. If you missed any part of this trending topic, head on over to vdas103.com where you can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can see I don't have any here. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Big Ten's going to chop it up with the beautiful ladies of Black Girls Run next live on V103.